we got a state grant to build this a few years ago. So the, the pavilion and the basketball court and, um, and we brought the benches over from um, Ajax Park. The town recently got $28,000 through the county from, uh, it's actually COVID relief money. And we had a meeting with the uh, community, several members of the community here a couple of weeks ago. And we determined to use that uh, 28,000 to build a swing set. That's their highest priority because there's really nothing for the little kids to play on here. But uh, obviously the community wants more than just a swing set. And what we would like to do is to build this up into Chestertown's second major playground after Wilmer Park with a connecting trail to uh, Coventry Farms. Uh, if you look on a map or a, a Google satellite image, and I, I've got a couple of pictures to show you, um, there's a bioretention pond, which is a fancy name for a nice big pond full of wildlife and beaver. There's active beaver over there. Um, and a lot of wildlife over here, fox and everything. Um, so we want to connect these two communities with trail with a trail. And that would justify putting a larger playground here. And, um, and, and give kids from Coventry Farms opportunity to come over. And the Washington Park community is very much uh, welcoming. They want to open up this park to the town. So um, we'll, when the swing set is put in in the spring, um, we're, uh, we're planning a big celebration, a big town-wide event, so um, let people know that this is here. Um, well, first of all, we need, um, we need permission from the um, um, Coventry Farms Homeowners Association to put in that trail to have access to that bioretention pond. They have valid concerns about liability, opening it up to the public. Um, but, uh, you know, it, it's just a wonderful spot to view nature. So we really want to open it up. So we'll, I think we can work those issues out. We want, we have big plans to open up all of the Radcliffe Valley to nature walks. We want to put in footpaths. That this, this path to Coventry Farms would just be the first step. And um, um, the town's comprehensive plan does have some plans for bike paths around here, and we want to supplement that with footpaths and footbridges over the creek. Um, you're aware that they're, they're talking about possibly locating the middle school at the end of uh, Talbot Boulevard. Um, the, the mayor um, announced that um, uh, at a recent council meeting that he was going to propose that in, if, if they decided that the current spot of the middle school is not appropriate, this would be another way to keep it in right, Chester. He's, he's proposing it as another alternative right. to the three on the table. Got it. And um, one of the criticisms of the Talbot Boulevard site is that kids wouldn't be able to walk. Well, if we build these bike paths and footpaths, they would be able to walk.